I was diagnosed with breast cancer uh, 12 years ago, and uh, it seemed to come out of the blue. I had no information about cancer, breast cancer until I had it. I had no idea. I didn't know there were different types of breast cancer. I didn't know what genetic mutation meant. My grandmother on my father's side died from metastatic breast cancer that spread to her brain and she died before my parents were even married when my father was in college. So while I was growing up, I was advised that I was at slightly higher risk of getting cancer um, because it was on my father's side. In fact, as we've learned in more recent years, that's not true. Your genes don't care which side you inherit your genetic mutations from. And in fact, I, I have a genetic mutation that leaves me much more likely to get breast cancer. And in fact, I did get it. had a discussion with my oncologist, Dr. Fetting, and at that time, um, I also um, am of uh, Ashkenazi Jewish background. And so that's another tip-off that maybe you should consider having um, genetic testing. There are plenty of people that are not Jewish that also have the mutation, um, and plenty of people that have cancer that don't have the mutation. But as, you know, trying to figure out what kind of testing people should have. I certainly had family history, and I certainly had um, background that would uh, indicate the possible inquiry as to whether I should have testing. So it was recommended that I have uh, genetic testing and counseling, and I had both at Hopkins, and um, it turned out that I had the BRCA1 mutation. When I found out that I had the genetic mutation, I felt that, and I had a 40 to 80 some percent chance of getting cancer again, or a return of cancer, I made a decision to have um, a double mastectomy to reduce the chances of having more cancer in, and also the chances of having to go through radiation and, um, and of course, dying uh, earlier. So that was really important information um, to have at that time. I have two older sisters and they had never been diagnosed with breast cancer before and they got tested after I was tested and of course after I had cancer. And we went through genetic counseling together and then we all got tested and one is positive, one is not positive. And so at that point we veered off to different directions. Uh, one sister uh, will be monitored because she had cancer in the family, but she doesn't have a mutation. One chose to have her ovaries removed and is being monitored, and I elected to have a double mastectomy. Um, the same information could produce that you would just be monitored closely, have uh, MRIs, and do whatever the protocol is for uh, being carefully monitored for the future. I elected for myself, for peace of mind, to have a double mastectomy because I didn't want to go through chemo again and I didn't want to go, uh, and I wanted to reduce my chances of having cancer. I felt very powerless that cancer seemed to come out of nowhere. I didn't have the information. I felt very uncomfortable worrying about my daughters. Uh, how could I protect them? And I had a lot of conversations with my oncologist. The good news is that there is information available for them to make decisions and to be, be monitored. If they didn't know and they were like me, they, it, the news comes out of the, out of the sky. What I really hope that this video will help people think about their own backgrounds, ask questions of their own family members so that they and their medical um, advisors can make a plan for monitoring and being able to know what testing they should be consider getting. And then after they have the testing, make decisions of what works for best for them. I don't think there's a right answer or a wrong answer unless you're looking in retrospect where you say, I wish that I had done something earlier because maybe I could have done it at an earlier time. Mm -hmm.